you! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. I know I look crazy out here. I am starting a video out by the pond, which you guys haven't seen in a while, and it's finally raining. Finally freaking raining. Loving it. But before we get into this public hunt, um, got to show you guys something real quick. Here's the pond. Not looking so swell. It needs to be way up there. Way up there. Oh, what's that? That is a turtle box. Yes, if you guys haven't seen them, let me show you this bad boy and what it does real quick. So I'm just gonna play the recent video off my YouTube channel. Oh, that back oh, that time of year. Rub it in, buddy. I know, it feels good. I gotta do this so I don't get copyright chill. problems for music. Yeah. I bet you're warm. Fully waterproof. Yeah, no, I feel. The walking. Oh, Very loud. Right yeah. Sounds amazing. <laughs> the hip waders, dude. That's no, the that's, it's, yeah. You can't hear anything else. Oh. Oh, we're shooting. We're shooting. I can leave it out there all day yeah. like that. It's amazing. I use them for snow goose hunting. I use them on the boat while we're floating down the river. Hunting, no anything, fishing. Oh, if he does that again, let him turn back. Cubs, uh, here, no bird. Woo! Again, guys, use code Bob at turtleboxaudio.com to save yourself some good, good money on this unit. Uh, the warranty it comes with is amazing, and they are built like a workhorse. Turtle box is always linked down in the description, uh, as well as Hella Dry. Uh, if you don't know what that is, check it out. And as well as Quick Coys and Ducks. If you use code Bob at any of those places that are linked down below, you'll either save money on it, or you will get a cool free product with your purchase. Enough blabbing, let's get into the hunt. What up, y'all? It is 5.47, not very early. Oh, dude, and I forgot. Oh, I forgot my mosquito spray. Not good. I've had my window rolled down trying to listen for birds flying. And I let in all the mosquitoes. I did not bring any bug spray. This is not going to be fun. Uh, so I'm going to wait it out to go in there as long as I can. Um, just so I don't get eaten up and carried off alive because these mosquitoes are no joke. Oh, we're at the public marsh today though. <sighs> Been waiting for this. Um, not the cool front that I was hoping for. It's sitting at 63 degrees. Um, it was supposed to be like 59. Um, it's pretty humid. Right now it's foggy um, and it's misting slash sprinkling on and off so if all of you were here last year these are the type of days i love could be a hair colder goodness i really wish it was um just not as cold cool front as i was hoping you know what i mean so hopefully we see some ducks today hopefully we shoot at least one or two um, I'm not expecting a ton to show up, but you never know. The teal have been moving. Um, this could be the day. Here comes a truck in front of me. I'm going to get out and get truck in here so no one beats me to the spot. <laughs> Yo. Oh, we made it out here to the marsh. We are here public marsh hunting. I found a beautiful little hole. It's only about ankle deep, calf deep. Beautiful. Um... The wind's actually picking up out of the north, thank goodness. Um, we should have a right to left decoy in action. Um, I'll show you the spread and the hole once the sun comes up. Right now you're not gonna be able to see anything. Beautiful little hole, just the right amount of water. I am so excited. Even if I just shoot one bird or see a couple and don't shoot anything, it feels so good to be out here, but I, I have been carried off by the mosquitoes a couple times now. Check it out. We got the SB3. You guys have been asking for more shot cam. I haven't used it in a while. We are using it today plus the silencer. Now, this is what I'm worried about. I hope the silencer isn't in the way of the shot cam. I hope it's not in the way for the shot cam to film, but we will find out today. First time running the shot cam and my JK Armament uh, SGX 195. Uh, it is exactly what it is and I love it a ton uh, on the videos it's hard to tell how much it does suppress it but in real life um, it is a lot all the boom is taken out there's zero echoing on the trees around you it is amazing so I'm gonna shut up 
shooting light is in about 10 minutes and it's really dark. I don't know if you guys can see me. First shots just fired at 648. Not much going on yet. Cross my fingers. Smash a thumbs up. Come on guys. Give us some good luck. Help the videos out. I hope you can see me right now. There we go. There we go. All right. We got light for the GoPro. I'll tell you what. All these years <clears throat> of making YouTube videos. GoPros. GoPros, GoPros. They're a lifesaver. They can also be a pain in the butt. I always have two with me at all times. I had to switch. The other one was completely malfunctioning would not record thank goodness right it is beautiful north wind oh i'm loving this i've seen one group of birds um, and they're off on another part of the marsh so today might be a scouting day today might be hunt don't shoot anything scout see if there's any birds um, see how many birds the potential possibly to sit up somewhere else tomorrow morning tomorrow morning i think will be a little better it's supposed to get like 60 59 tonight <clears throat> with a lot of um rain coming in from the north so it should be pushing birds this whole week i'm gonna hunt on and off with the weather i hope you guys um if you're new to the channel um i love my waterfowl hunting i have two pigeon hunts lined up i'm gonna solo at least one of them um, I tried getting Judge, my dog, one of my two dogs, Judge and Fred, tried to get Judge coming today and he was just acting super weird trying to get out of the house. So I'm like, okay, dude, we'll go throw the bumper some more tonight and then we'll go tomorrow. So taking it easy with him. Here's a dove. Real quick, guys, I want to show you the hella dry utility pole. Um, I'm standing, didn't have enough packability to get a chair in but look at this keeping my blind bag out of the water we got shell holder yeah she's a long girl with the old silencer but use code bob at checkout guys uh you get a free gift save some money they got a heck of a deal going on for all you folks that use my code at checkout well i do reckon it's time for breakfast. I love these. These are the um, Nature Valley biscuits. Cinnamon almond butter. Dude. Unreal. What time is it? 7.09. So it's actually sunrise on the dot right now. You can shoot 30 minutes before sunrise. 709, I've heard one gun go off. It's looking pretty slim, boys and gals. Looking pretty slim. Never know. They could start flying, though. I didn't bring a chair with me. That's a bad deal. Oh, it's lovely. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Finally. Feels like it's been... A decade since we've had a slow steady long rain I just looked at the radar I've been watching it all morning it's getting really dark out there uh, I bet you it's gonna rain for a couple hours just about like this nice slow steady awesome we need it we need it we found water at the marsh this morning uh, I heard two gunshots at one time boom boom that was all she wrote uh, seen one flock of ducks I'm assuming they were till flying while I hunted um, I picked up at 830 and then I scouted around I kicked up one group of birds it looked like there was like two pintails and four teal um, we're dry we're dry we're dry we're dry we're dry over here we're dry out west like Cheyenne Bottoms Quivira they got the water. So I'm sure a lot of you that are from around here have been hitting up the bottoms. You have to please, please, please drop a comment down below. If you have hunted Cheyenne Bottoms or Quivira yet here in Kansas, um, let me know how you did. Was there a lot of birds? 
If I get a good bird scout report from you all, I will go to the bottoms next. I really want to go. Speaking of the bottoms, it will require a boat. I don't, I know it has water. I just don't know how much water. And this is why I say that. Hold that idea for one second. <laughs> I know this video is supposed to be relatable. I went out, I tried. My buddy scouted the water. He was just out there the other day. He said, hey, there's water here. I'm like, hey, you know what? It's a north wind, I'm gonna try it. It is in fact a relatable video. I go out on public all the time and get skunked. It's fine. I had a great morning by myself, just chilling. It was a scout hunt, basically. Chalk it up. Now, if I would've went and scouted and seen a lot of birds, a ton of them, or a hundred or whatever it was and didn't shoot one, I might be disappointed, but I gotta show you guys this in one second. Don't mind Gerald's turkey dead mount or my duck spline bag, but the duck boat. Unfortunately, I do have to get rid of it. I have not sold it yet. If you follow me on uh, Instagram, um, I put it up for sale a little while back. Um, didn't get, just got a lot of tire kickers really. Um, sorry if you're one of them, I'm just being honest. <laughs> but I don't know if it's deep enough to use the outboard at Cheyenne Bottoms. If you've been there and you've in fact ran a boat, let me know what pool it was. Let me know if this would be safe to take. Um, the bottoms is about an hour, hour and a half away from me. So it's hard for me to bomb over there and go scout it and whatnot. So help a brother out, thank you. If you're interested in buying the duck boat, guys, hit me up on Instagram right here. Hit me up, uh, please, serious inquires only, just like the guide service. Um, which we do have some dates get a hold of me fill out the book and form saying hopeflywoods.com you know i gotta plug my my guide service it's my baby okay <clears throat> i got me a new one if you're here last year you seen me run this especially on public land there we go <clears throat> got me a brand new one this is a quick coys floater duck floater motion system Look at that, boom. Um, if you use code Bob at checkout at Quick Coys, I'll put some motion action after I get done with my spiel. You get a free sweet hat. Look at that bad boy. Use code Bob at checkout again. So I got a, that's the bag for it all. Look at that, comes with beautiful, what are these? Green head gear, teal floaters, brand new. One. Two, a hand, three drakes, four drakes, and a hand. So, this is, ooh, it's a, it's a lot different this year. Bigger battery, I can tell. Look at that. That's the, that is the weight system, and the, uh, the actual decoy system connects here. I'll show you. So, I'm not gonna put it all together right now. I'm gonna put it on the charger and make sure it's all ready to go. Um, these things are sweet. Basically, this motion right here. He said, uh, he said, honestly, Bobby, you know, one of the biggest topics is spinner decoys and people hunting public with spinners and ducks hating them, you know? He was like, I promise you, you take out one or two of these only, throw some floaters around it if you want. You can take like six floaters and one of these. He was like, you'll wreck them. You'll wreck them. Leave the spinners at home. This could be the new yeah amazing um you don't need a spinner it's so realistic if you're where the birds want to be uh, and you did your good scouting reports you know and everything uh they love it it looks so real in fact um you don't need the spinner so if you if you're a big public hunter um and you're like man spinners you know they're only good up until about this date or this long or if you see the birds reacting and not liking it right this thing, it does not get any more real than this. Check it out. So, it sits like this in the water. All these springs, let it bounce around. This is about a six foot, seven foot cord. This is the weight system. So this floats, all these connect around here to keep it suspended. And you have this sweet little brass propeller. And this is one heck of a motor. I'm telling you, it'll cut your finger. Sweet system. Sweet system. I'm going to charge my battery up. 
Quick Coys is an absolute game changer, especially for the walk-in public hunter, just like I'm gonna be doing this next whole month, probably a month and a half, right? Today, I carried 16 teal floaters, a backpack with two Lucky Ducks in it, my gun, my blind bag, and my high and dry pole. So if I was to get rid of the Lucky Duck backpack, the 16 floaters, and you just go to this, which is a very small bag, boy howdy, it would be a ton easier. And that's what I'm gonna do. I tried it last year uh, on a lot of guided hunts. I, I shouldn't say I tried it, I used it on a lot of guided hunts. The, the ducks reacted so well every single time, I love it. Again guys, use code BOB at checkout at quickkoys.com. It's always linked down below, as well as the high and dry pole, as well as turtle box, as well as ducks. Thank you all for helping support me all these years. It means so much to me. I love my job. The teal scout did not go very well. Um, the pigeon scout, however, now, however, the pigeon scout, after this morning's hunt, thank goodness I left early, I have two pigeon feeds. So I guess I'm probably gonna go knock those out here pretty soon. I appreciate you all being here so much. I know, I didn't go bang them up today. Usually I do, right? But I wanted a video that was relatable, just relatable, and I wanted to show you some cool products today. Um, I wanted to make a video today. I told myself, I don't care if I pull the trigger, I'm making a video today, and it's gonna be relatable. That's what we're getting back to, more river hunts, more public hunts, especially before the guide season kicks off. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so entirely much. Get out there, shoot some doves while they're here. I'm sure all this rain, they're gonna be bombing south on us. Stay safe out there, guys, but until next time.